welcome to my channel guys so this video is going to be my list of top most cringiest scenes in horror movies now this list might be kind of weird to some because some of the things that i'm gonna be putting on this list you guys might think is actually kind of underwhelming but this is my list and i have like this weird thing in my brain i guess where I can watch some of the most fucked up shit happening in movies and not even budge and not even blink. It doesn't faze me at all. But then like little list things that other people probably wouldn't would think that wasn't even that bad makes me truly fucking cringe. So this list is based exactly on that. Little things that make me cringe that other people might not necessarily find all that cringy, but I think it is. Anyway. This list is my, all of my horror movie list is in no particular order. I'm just calling those movies at random. So the first thing I want to bring up is the spider crawling in the popcorn scene from the 1990 horror comedy. Apparently this is a horror comedy according to Google. Okay, you learn something new every day. Arachnophobia, directed by Frank Marshall. So yeah, um... As somebody like myself who has arachnophobia and is very fucking scared of spiders, which you guys probably already know if you watch my channel and you watch the Spirits and Screams live streams that I do with Karen from Motion Chick Flicks and I from the movie Badness, my arachnophobia quite often comes up in those live streams. Anyway, um, just something about that scene. It's so realistic, like it's literally something that could happen in real life. Like you could be sitting there watching TV, digging innocently through your bag of popcorn, not realizing that there's a fucking spider crawling inside that bag and at any minute it can catch you. Like I just just looking at it, just just thinking about it makes me fucking cringe. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Okay, so this next one, actually a lot of people probably will agree with me on this one. This is a lot heavier and more typical cringe factor i would say and that is the torture scene in 2006 um short horror film imprint directed by takashi miki imprint was supposed to be part of the masters of horror series i believe it was supposed to be like a series finale of masters of horror season one but apparently it was so disturbing for people that it was actually taken off showtime and released only on like dvd now, personally, I don't think it's that cringy and that disturbing that it needed to be taken off air. But the scene where this girl gets hanged upside down and she gets needles shoved like underneath her fingernails and inside of her gums is pretty damn cringy. Like you're looking at it and you're literally cringing as you're looking at it. I don't know, something about messing with people's fingernails and teeth I feel like always just gets to you and the needles are going like right inside her... Um, fingernail right underneath the nail bed and like all the way in and just looking at it it looks so fucking painful and then when the nails go in her gums that also looks so fucking painful anyway moving on to the next one next one i want to bring up is Asami's prisoner drinking her vomit in the 1999 horror movie audition directed once again by takashi miki he just has a lot of cringy shit happening in his movies. Now, a lot of people, when you think about audition and shit that disturb you in it or made you cringe, you're probably thinking once again about the needle torture scene. Takashi Miki just loves um, using acupuncture as the most evilest torture method ever in his movies. It appears to be his thing. But in audition, I was always a lot more disturbed and weirded out by the scene where this guy who might not even exist, like this whole sequence might actually be just only in somebody's mind, it could be somebody's nightmare or whatever, but no matter the case may be. It's very heavily implied that this girl Asami, that she holds this guy, um, former movie director, prisoner in her apartment for many years, she done chopped off his feet, she done chopped off most of his fingers, she ripped out his tongue, she keeps him inside of a sack and shit, and apparently... For his meals, she just like vomits in a bowl and he laps it up. And I mean, vomit just always gross me out. I'm pretty sure it grosses a lot of people out. And to see somebody like lapping up a bowl full of somebody's vomit, it's pretty damn fucking cringy. I was really grossed out by that scene. And it disturbed me a lot more than the whole thing with like needles being shoved in a guy and his foot being chopped off. Maybe that's just me. 
Okay, so next one I want to bring up is basically every single scene involving the dentist drill in the 1996 horror movie The Dentist. I mean, once again, messing with people's teeth, it always just gets to you, at least it gets to me. And as you guys may know, I talked about this a lot here on the channel. I had my own pretty unpleasant experience with the going to the dentist recently where they was drilling my teeth and like the anesthetic didn't work so I was in a lot of pain throughout so I just know how fucking painful it is when somebody drilling your teeth without anesthetic okay and that's exactly what's happening in the dentist he just goes crazy because his wife cheated on him and he just drilling into everybody's teeth and he yanking people teeth out and that whole movie is just really cringe and I find it to be very triggering Anyway, next one on my list is the alien abduction scene from the 1993 movie Fire in the Sky. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Some people get abducted by aliens and there is this prolonged scene of like what the aliens do to them, to this guy, to kind of like experiment on him, I guess. Um, I don't know personally if I believe in aliens. Like, I'm a very skeptical person on everything. Like, I don't... I don't think I believe in anything like religious or supernatural or extraterrestrial or anything like that. But I remember really being scared of aliens as a kid and actually thinking that aliens do exist. And uh, I think for most people who have like this phobia of aliens or being like abducted by aliens, you always immediately think about aliens like experimenting on you and probing you and shit like that. That scene in Fire in the Sky is pretty damn intense and it's very cringy to look at them. Reawakened my childhood fear of aliens while I was watching it. Now that concludes my list, but I do have bonus mention, not horror movies, but those scenes still made me cringe so much is the force feeding scene from Requiem for a Dream from to, from the year 2000. Obviously Requiem for a Dream is technically not a horror movie. I personally consider it to be one but I know it's technically not and it has so many fucked up disturbing and cringy scenes in that one. Most people would probably think about the whole thing with like he was shooting up um, heroin in his arm and his arm was like had gangrene in it and was rotten and he was still shooting in it. That was pretty fucked up to look at but I was always really pinched at that scene where the older woman, Sarah Goldfarb, is in like the psych unit and she is strapped to a chair and two orderlies come and start to like force feed her. They take this really nasty looking food, um, spoon it up and start shuffling it in her mouth without even giving her a chance to swallow it. It just always just made me really cringe. I just have this thing with force feeding in movies. It just always really creeps me out and makes me cringe. There is later a scene where she also gets force fed through a tube, which is also pretty hard to look at. But when they were shoveling that food with a spoon in her mouth, it was just really, just really, it just really made me like want to look away when I was watching that. I don't know why, but like I said, force feeding just really gets me. So yeah, that concludes my list. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments which scenes in horror movies made you cringe the most. And let me know in the comments also which movies from this list did you guys see and what did you guys think about it. Did any of that stuff make you cringe or is it just me? Let me know in the comments also what other horror movie list I should put together on my channel in the future. And if you're new here and are enjoying my reviews so far, then, then definitely go on ahead and give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you wouldn't miss any future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one, okay? Bye!